Hello, Ellen. This is Nan. I just got back. Look, I, I've got to see you right away. Hi, sweetheart. Ellen, I'm so glad to see you. I wanted you here before I phoned the police. The police? Someone stole my purse and briefcase. Briefcase? Wait a minute. Don't call. Let's talk about this. It wasn't my fault. Well, I know, sweetheart, but if you'd have called me at the airport, I'd have picked you up and this never would have happened. I wanted to surprise you. Well, you did that all right. I'm sorry. All the way from Albuquerque, I kept worrying if I should have kept the briefcase with me instead of in the suitcase. Luggage does get lost sometimes. Yeah, this is a hell of a mess. How'd the thief get in? From the balcony. I was in the shower, so I didn't hear him. Let's have a look. Man must have known what he was doing. Couldn't have made much noise. Honey, are those papers in the briefcase so terribly important? You never know how important. I've got to get them back. Who is it? Well, who do you think it is, Sandy Claus? Uh, just a minute. Just a minute! You don't have to knock a door down. Oh. What do you want? The rent, Jackie boy. Oh, brother. And the next time I have to come asking for it, you ain't gonna be here to ask. Look at this mess. Don't you ever pick up after yourself. You live like a pig. Look at this. W will you take a look at this thing? Now, this has been rattling around for months. When are you going to get around to fixing it? Just as soon as I get a regular paying tenant in here. All right, all right, go and insult me. One of these days, I'll be moving out of this stinking joint anyway. Well, stinking joint, is it? That's right. Ah, well, in that case, Jackie boy, you won't mind sleeping in the street tonight. And before you leave, clean up some of this trash that's laying around here. My boy will pick it up after school. Now, wait a minute, Mrs. Prattle. Pray tell. And if I don't get the rent by 6 o'clock tonight, out you go. And you go out with what you've got on your back. And nothing else. Well, look, now, you don't want to get mad over a little thing like, what was it, $9, Mrs. Prattle? Pray tell. Yes, ma'am. Tonight. Look, I don't know about tonight, but I promise you, by tomorrow, I'll get it for you. Yeah. How many times I've heard that before? Look, I mean it. Well, all right. Tomorrow it is, then. All right. But, brother, you'd better have it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You have my word on it. Yeah, well, that and a dime will get me a cup of coffee. Brother. Thank you, Miss Prattle. From me, old goat. You sent the girl to New Mexico to pick up the papers. That wasn't very intelligent, Alan. I thought it would be safer. 
Safer? For whom? You know, Alan, it was men like you who cost the South victory. Stop making a federal case out of this, Taylor. We'll get your papers back or another set, so stop worrying, will you? <laughs> Those papers fall into the wrong hands, my dear Sheridan. A federal case is exactly what it will be. And as for getting duplicates, I'm afraid that'll be impossible. What do you mean? Yeah. Look at this. Uh, it seems to me that wasn't very intelligent. Don't mock me, Alan. It isn't wise. A year's work has gone into getting that fuel formula and plans for the new propulsion unit. I don't intend for that time and effort to go to waste. You ought to read your own propaganda, Taylor. Your people are supposed to have ICBMs that'll outperform anything we've got. Now, you hear me, Alan. I'm supposed to deliver those plans over the weekend. Your obituary would make a poor substitute. Look, Taylor, be reasonable. I'm doing everything I can to get those papers back. Uh huh? Such as? Nan is in contact. That girl again! Tell me something, Alan. If she means so much to you, how could you endanger her life? And ours by having her act as an unsuspecting courier. She's not in any danger, never has been. That remains to be seen. We'll keep in touch, Alan. You have until the end of the week. Mr. Muskie? Who wants to know? You one of them Snoopy welfare dames? I'm looking for something that I lost. Now, this ain't no loss and found. I'm willing to pay for any help you can give me. You're beginning to interest me, lady. Come on in. Uh, sit yourself down. Don't worry. I'm only interested in wine. A little muscatel. Good for what ails you. No, thank you. Okay, lady, out with it. You want me to put you on to somebody who could cloud something for you, is that it? Cloud something? I'm sorry, lady. You talk and I'll listen. Well, it happened the other night. Someone stole some things from my apartment and I want them back. And I, I'm willing to pay for their return. Okay, uh, turn your eyes in the other direction. Come on. Okay, lady, let's go. Let's get out of this dump.
So where did you heist these? No, certainly not from you. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here with them. What can I do with them? Well, just think, Pete. If anyone ever steals yours, then you'll be all set with this ad. Another set? Come on, what am I offering? Yes, I'll take it. <laughs> well, Pete, <laughs> what's on your mind, Muskie? <laughs> yeah. She's all right. Uh, I've known her a long time. Uh, some cat burglared her pad and got away with a couple of sentimentals. That's right. A gold and pearl heart locket, uh, some pearl earrings, and my wristwatch, a 14-carat bulova. Also, there was a briefcase containing some papers in it, too, with the letters NB on it. My person wallet you, you could forget about. Look, what did you bring her here for? You know I don't handle nothing hot. Oh, sure, Pete, I know that, but uh, I, I figured you might just be able to hear something about it and maybe pick yourself up a nice piece of change helping out the lady. Please, all I want to do is get my things <coughs> back. I'm willing to pay. I don't care about anything else, if that's what you're thinking. Just the briefcase and, and of course, my jewelry. Look, miss. You write down the name and the phone number. And if I hear something, I'll call you. <coughs> oh, I don't know whether this will help, but the thief really knew his business. <coughs> he came down from the roof. Look, lady, I don't deal in people, just things. Hey, you pay me my money now, lady, and I'll be running along. I got an appointment with a jug. All right. Oh, there goes that thing again. Not every day that thing rings. Never gives me a minute's peace. I swear sometimes I think I'll have the thing disconnected. Pray tell motel. I want to talk to Jackie. <laughs> no, he ain't here. He went out early this morning. This is important. Are you sure now? What do you mean, am I sure? Listen, wise guy. All right, all right. Don't get excited, lady. Who's excited? Who's excited? When that bum pays his rent, I'll take messages for him. Till then, you can tell Jack to drop dead. I got some money for Jack. Did you say <clears throat> money? Yeah. Just tell him Pete called. Tell him I uh, changed my mind. I'll help him out. You got that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll certainly tell him, sir. And thank you for calling. <coughs> Your friend of Jack's? Lovely boy. Like my own son he is. Yeah, all right, lady. Goodbye. There you are, Jocko. 30 bucks cash money. <laughs> Listen, I don't get it. This morning, you wouldn't give me $10 for that stuff. So I'm a good Samaritan. I give it to you out of the goodness of my heart. <laughs> so now you want to look in my mouth like a horse here, now. Good what? Samaritan? Pete, you'd sell your own mother and kick if you couldn't collect on the sales tax. Come on, now tell me, what's going on here? Well, it's like this. The lady you clouded the stuff from, she was around trying to get a line on it, see? So what's wrong with everybody making a buck? Going hmm? to buy it back, huh? Yeah. How much are you going to pay you? Oh, if I'm lucky, I'll make ten bucks. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I heard all day. I got to close up. It's five o'clock already. So if you get something good, come around. You know who your friends are. Hmm? Yeah, they're all right here, Pete. <coughs> <laughs> Plenty to get that stuff back, lady. Plenty. 
Are you uh, sure it's mine? Oh, uh, yeah. Look, here, I show you. See? There's the initials. N.V. What a relief. <coughs> uh, I can't thank you enough. Well, just give me the hundred bucks, lady. That's all the thanks I need. I, uh... I put the jewelry inside. <clears throat> Where's the notebook? You asked me to get that junk for you, lady. I got it. I don't know nothing about a notebook. Well, it was here in the briefcase. What are you trying to do? Put a fast one over on me, sister? I want my money, and I want it now. Not until everything is returned, and that includes the notebook. Okay. I make a deal with you. I paid 50 for that junk. Just give me what I paid. Not without the notebook. All right, forget it. I take the stuff back. Just a minute, mister. Hey, what's this all about? You said we was alone. You think I'd leave any woman in a room alone with dirt like you? Well, don't get rough with me, mister. I'll have the law on you. Helen, please. Don't worry, honey. I wouldn't dirty my hands. You better not. How much time do they give for receiving stolen property these days, friend? Oh, now you wouldn't do that, mister, huh? I was only trying to do the lady a favor. You still want the hundred dollars? There must be something important about that notebook. What is it? What's in it? That phone of police. No, 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 no. I was only kidding. <laughs> you can't blame a guy for trying to make a buck, huh? The name of the thief and where we find him. Okay, okay. First, I want my money. The guy's name is, uh, Jack. I don't know the last name. Honest, mister, I'm leveling with you. He lives in a crummy joint called Prattles Motel. Here, here. I got the phone number. I'll show you. Yeah, you keep it. He's a lousy crook anyway. I don't want nothing to do with him. If you're lying, it won't be hard to find you. On my mother's grave, mister. A dog pounds it in. Get out of here. Hey, friend of his. He got your message and wanted me to call you to find out what you wanted. Oh. Well, it's, uh, very personal. Uh, I'll have to talk to him. Would you ask him to come to the phone, please? I'm uh, sorry, lady. He won't do that. He wants to know how you got his number. He says he don't know who you are. Tell him I'll pay the same amount for the return of the notebook that I paid the man in the pawn shop for the other things. One hundred dollars cash. No questions asked. Dirty lion. Something wrong? Uh, no, no, lady. Nothing I can't take care of. A hundred dollars, huh? Uh, seems like a lot of money just for a notebook. Well, it's very important, really. If I don't get it back, I'll lose my job. Uh, this other number here, is that your office number? Yes. Okay, lady, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hundred bucks. <laughs> Big fink. Ought to go down there and break his neck. Oh. Well, there it goes again. I'm gonna get these books done tonight. I know that. Break the phone the door. Oh. Oh. 
Come in, Jackie boy. Oh, hello, Miss Pearl. Pray uh, so, tell. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, what did they do with the trash that they took out of my room this morning? Look, you get no nothing out of me. Nothing, you understand, until you pay your rent. Well, I was going to pay you money anyway. It's, uh, it's, uh... Well, I've heard that before. I happen to know you've got some money, and I want the rent. You owe me $9.38. And right. that's what I want. Yes, Here it is, uh, ten dollars. You can keep the change. Now tell me what they did with my trash, please. Well, the city truck came and picked it up. They always do on Wednesday. You've been oh. here long enough to know that. Well, what did they do with it? Well, they burned it. What do you think they do with trash? They can't sell it, can <sighs> they? they? Burned it, huh? It's just my look. Um... Thanks a lot, Miss Pell. Pray tell. Yes, ma'am. These plans are going to end up with a real doozy. That's perfect. She'll never know the difference. Come on in. Just close the door. Jack? That's right. I'm Nan Baker. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I, I didn't think I'd recognize you about anyway. Recognize me? Oh. <laughs> Uh, yes, ma'am. I mean, from hearing your voice on the telephone. Let's bring money. May I see the note? Ah, uh, no, 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 you know. Well, I just wanted to make sure it... You satisfied? It looks like it. Well, it is it. You shouldn't go around calling people a liar. I'm sorry. I have the money here in my purse. That boss of yours sure is a lucky guy. What do you mean? Having you around all the time. Aren't you going to count it? Oh, uh, well, no, I guess if you can trust me, I can trust you. I want to thank you, Jack. What's the matter with you? I, I, I steal that stuff from you and then I make you pay to get it back? Here you go thanking me like it was a big deal or something. 
You don't go thanking a crumb, lady. That's about all I am, is a crumb. All I know is that we made a bargain. And you kept your end of it. <laughs> I, I think you better get out of here. Thanks again. Go on, get out of here. Bye. Alan, I've got it. But what are you doing here? You didn't think I'd let you meet that thief without being somewhere close, did you? Oh, I'm so glad it's over. So am I. You and I are gonna take a day off tomorrow. Right now, I'm gonna get these back to my client. All right, but call me later. That's a promise. I told you I'd get it back. I must confess, I had my doubts. What's the matter? You fool. You stupid, insipid fool! Now, just a minute, Taylor. I don't take that from anyone. Look at it. Well, what's wrong? Except for the first few pages, this is all gibberish. Well, don't blame me. Blame the men in New Mexico. Can't you get it through your head? Somebody switch pages. The way that book is now, it's worthless. Why would a two-bit thief do a thing like that? You're a dead man unless we find out. Sheep, little punk, and the pawnbroker. They must have cooked this up between them. Wait a minute. Maybe... Maybe those pages are useless to them except to get more money. When I get my hands on them, I'll break their greedy little necks. No, Alan. From here on, Leo and I will deal with these people. <laughs> What are you guys beating on me for? I never done nothing to you. Oh, but you have, young man. Yeah, you have broken faith. Allow greed to outbalance prudence. Leo? Oh. Young man, now are you ready to discuss matters, huh? Uh, yeah. Anything you say, but don't let that guy, don't let hit me anymore. <laughs> Excellent. Now, if you'll just give us those papers you removed from that notebook, we'll be on our way. You better talk now, Sonny. You won't be able to. Oh, the papers, please. Listen, uh, I don't, I don't have any papers. I gave them all to the girl. No, listen now. I told you guys, I told you the truth. Now I don't know a thing about him, honest. And who does? Listen, you don't think I have him on me, will you? I gave him somebody to keep for me. The pawnbroker? Yeah. You sure? I, I'm not gonna. Get myself killed just to keep that guy from getting beat up. <laughs> I see. Honor among thieves, huh? Empty your pockets. Oh, what? Leo. No, wait. 
Take it. Where? Well, that's my money. Now, you hear me, little man. If you're telling me the truth, you might get a portion of this back. If not, <laughs> you won't have any need for money. What time does your friend close? About five o'clock. Good. Leo will keep a friendly eye on you until I get back. So worried. Boy, he sure got a hard set of hands. It's going to be some mouse I got here. Hey, uh. Hey, how about my going to the office and picking myself some ice? Sure, Fred. I don't see anything wrong in that. Hey, thanks. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. I know you will, because I'm going with you. Yeah, sure. Miss Prattle? Pray tell. Why ain't here? She's shopping. Uh, Willie, I gotta have a little ice. Wow. What happened to never you? Never mind, never mind. Now, how about some ice? Cost you a dime. Oh, brother. There you go. Help yourself. And make it quick. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right with you. Hey, who's he? He's a friend of mine. Well, I don't allow no doubling up in the rooms unless you pay extra. Hey, Willie, where'd you get this? It was in the trash. It's mine now. You threw it away. Don't I want the notebook, Willie. I just want to know what you did with the papers in it. They're all used up. I got rid of them. Well, where? Well, I used them to line the cat's box. Come on, what's going on? Uh, nothing, nothing. I'm just going to put a little uh, water in this tray here. Anyone to come back here. Hey, let's have a look at those pages. Uh, no, there's nothing here but some old addresses of mine. I was just trying to get them back from Willie. Why, you. <laughs> you can't. Don't you little muscle. Uh, stinking cats. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna like this. You give your mom a message for me, Willie. Tell her I'm checking out of this stinking joint. Hey, what about him? I don't know. Charge him rent. Oh.
expect me to use it. You scream again, you're gonna look a lot worse than I do. What do you want? Don't play that I don't know nothing routine for me. Please, I gave you the money. What more do you want? Plenty. You tell that boyfriend of yours those papers are gonna cost him a grand now. But I don't understand. Ellen has the papers. Don't play games with me. You know that stuff I gave you was phony except for a few pages? I just thought I could skip out before you and him got wise, but I was a little too slow, it seems. Please believe me, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I suppose you didn't know your boyfriend and that big goon of his was gonna work me over either. You're not talking sense, Jack. Listen to me. I listened to you once. Look what it got me. No, no. Now, you tell that southern gentleman he better have a thousand bucks ready for me by tomorrow, or else I'll just burn his precious papers. All right, I'll tell him. All right. And no funny business this time. I'll get in touch with you tomorrow. And tell him not to waste his time looking for me at that motel, because I'm not going to be there. Whatever you say. I thought you were something special. No wonder you consider me a dope. That's not true, Jack. I think I'll go out the front door this time for a change. I don't believe you'll be calling anybody to stop me either. Pete! Pete, are you here? I'm sorry. I didn't know they... If you hadn't have faked out of me, this wouldn't have happened. Just charge this up against what you chiseled me out of. So long, Pete. It doesn't make sense. He's coming back here threatening me. I wish I'd have been him. Those papers I paid him for this afternoon, they were genuine. Well, of course. I checked them over myself before I turned them over to my client. Why? Someone did beat him up. Oh, his face was bruised something awful. That serves him right. Alan. Well, now, how do you expect me to feel? I'm just lucky you didn't get my hands on him. I can't help feeling that there's something wrong. <laughs> you know what probably happened? One of his good friends found out he had that hundred dollars and took it from him. Now he thinks he can scare you into getting more money for him. I still say we should notify the police. There's no telling what he may do. The first thing you're going to do is get back to bed. We both need some sleep. I'll take care of him in the morning. Good night, honey. Good night.
a gun in my pocket. Just act like we was old friends. What are you going to do? Whatever I have to. Your boss getting the money for me? Jack, be sensible. Think before you get yourself into more trouble or hurt somebody. Look, I want to help you, and so does Mr. Sheridan. Sure he does. He wants to help me just like he helped Pete. Look, I might as well tell you, Mr. Sheridan isn't going to pay any more money. You want to bet? Why should he pay for something he's already turned over to his client? All right, you tell me why all the interest in these. Now, take a good look. Well, this proves it. Alan, Mr. Sheridan isn't an engineer. He's in business manager. You really play it to the hilt, don't you? Don't you think I know what's going on here? You and him are probably nothing but a pair of lousy spies selling out your own country. If you believe that, why don't you go to the authorities and report it? What's that going to put in my pocket? No, we'll play this my way. And if there's no more funny business, I'll just forget about everything. I'll even forget about Pete. The pawnbroker? Yeah, the dead pawnbroker. Dead? Well, you just ask Sheridan what I'm talking about. But, but why Listen, should he... Do you know where Seward and Waring streets are? I think so. There's an old abandoned warehouse on the corner. Now, that's where I want you to bring the money. Three o'clock sharp, you be there alone with the money. The door's gonna be open for you, and I'll be inside. If there's any more tricks, I'll just burn those papers, and we'll forget the whole thing. Go on, get going. Jack, if you really believe what you're saying, take that paper to the police. It'll prove to you that you're mistaken. I got a better idea. You take this page to Sheridan, tell him to take it to the cops. Just see what he says. Take it. Now, go on, get going. Go on. Alan? Morning, honey. Oversleep? Alan, look at this. Well, what is it? Where'd you get this? Jack was down in the parking lot. What? He must be crazy. He even claimed you were involved in some sort of espionage. Well, what else did he say? I'm supposed to take the money to an old warehouse on Seward and Waring. And he, he said that you'd be afraid to take that paper to the authorities. I don't know what this fellow's talking about, but he's sure wrong on that little guess. <laughs> what are you going to do? What I should have done last night. Take this over to Lieutenant Kroll's office. He'll end this quick enough. Oh, I'm so glad, Alan. He had me wondering. I won't feel safe until this is over. Oh. Uh, look, Nan, I'll be back as soon as I can. I'm expecting a call from Wheeler, so you better stick by the phone. All right, Alan. Sheridan Enterprises. Tell your boss I want the money in small bills, tens and twenties. You got it? Yes, I understand. Small bills. Hello, can I have Lieutenant Curl's office, please? Just a minute, please. Lieutenant Keith speaking. May I speak to Mr. Sheridan? There's no Mr. Sheridan here, lady. May I talk with the lieutenant, then? I'm sorry, Lieutenant Curl won't be here today. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Well, Mr. Sheridan was going over to Lieutenant Curl's office. Miss, the lieutenant is still on his vacation. Oh, I see, vacation. He'll be back next week. Next week? Oh, I'm sorry I couldn't be of any service to you, miss. All right, thank you very much. Seeing someone else? No, I don't know who else he might be seeing. Comes in, I'll tell him someone calls. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Sorry we took so long. Miss Baker, this is Detective Sergeant Davis. How do you do, ma'am? Hello. Well, it's nothing to worry about, ma'am. Nan, uh, from what I can gather, it's not just a matter of the police going out of the warehouse and arresting Jack. We need proof that he's actually attempting to extort money for Mr. Sheridan. Well, isn't our word and what's happened enough? Not if they're going to prosecute him. We realize it's a lot to ask, ma'am, but we'd like you to go through with the delivery of the money. You'll have complete police protection every minute. And once the exchange is made, 
He's ours. It's the only way, Nan. We've got to get this thing over with once and for all. He's dangerous. All right, Alan, if you think I should. Good. Our men are taking the warehouse out right now. You'd be surprised, Miss Baker, how few citizens are really willing to help the police if it means a little inconvenience. How will you handle Jack? Well, that depends on him, ma'am. He can have it any way he wants it. Better get your things. I didn't know you better. I believe you were a cop. I was once, but I didn't like the way I handled some of the punks I brought in. I can believe that. Alan, while you were gone, Jack phoned. He did. What did he want? He wants the money in small bills. He'll get it, and it won't be in small bills. <laughs> Here comes the skipper. Skipper? Uh, Lieutenant Kroll is in charge of this operation. Sergeant, Lieutenant. Sheridan? Oh, Miss Baker. Now, has everything been explained to you clearly? Do you have any questions? I don't think so. Good. You have the department's gratitude, ma'am. When did you get back, Lieutenant? I tried to get you earlier at your office. Oh? Well, you see, I came directly here from the house. Uh, we better be going, Lieutenant. You take the wheel, Sergeant. Now, there's nothing to worry about, young lady. In an hour, you'll be back here, and this law will be part of the past. I hope so. <laughs> getting short, Miss Baker. It's 3 o'clock. Well, here it is. Now, all I want you to do, miss, is go inside, give him this money, pick up those papers, and come right back here. Do you want me to do this? You don't have much choice, man. Now, after you effect the transfer and you're safely back out here, we'll hit from all sides. Be careful, man. I don't like it, Taylor. That dame's got something on her mind. Would have expected her to call the police department. She's just nervous. Who wouldn't be? We'll worry about her nerves after we get a hold of those papers. All right, Leo. I'll take the front. All right. Stay here. I don't want you to get in the way.
Jack, I've got the money. One sound out of you, and you're gonna get it first. You hear me? Come out with your hands up. Jack, listen, it's not the police. Look, there are three of them out there. You were right about them. They made me do it. Oh, please believe me. Shh, shh, shh. one we won't have to fight our way through anyway. There's a skylight up on the roof. You go up those stairs and you stay there. I'm gonna try to lead them around the other side of the building. Take these with you. I'm not gonna let them have them. empty. I don't want to have to kill you. 
What I'm one of those people. Just throw them down and I'll leave. All right. And I'll come up after. Get up those stairs now, anyway. Listen, go on over there, find yourself a dark place to hide, and take those papers with you. Look, I don't want those guys to get them back now. Maybe if I helped you up the stairs, we no. could both get it open. Let's now listen try. to me. You go on over there and give me a chance to do some good in my life, just for once. Now go on over there. I'm gonna use this thing on you. Go on. I'm a hero. Feels kind of nice. If I hadn't got shot, I wonder if I'd have stuck around. <laughs> 